it going? Welcome back to the Crafty Bee Budgeting channel. Sorry I didn't do an upload on Tuesday, but I was running around doing some stuff. Today is Friday, August 4th, I believe. And all I'm going to do today, this isn't going to be a normal video, um, basically show y'all what I've been up to some of the stuff that I'm uh, about to start doing and just basically a, a crafting slash life update but be right back okay had to get some water I'm about to update my little board here uh, but what I have been up to is I have been trying to figure out what kind of craft project I want to do next so I have been thinking about uh, making up some totes with the NFL and college football teams and all that uh, to resell. I've sold a couple so far and I got some requests for some more uh, NFL themed stuff, uh, aprons and uh, other totes. But what I'm planning to do is first I'm supposed to do my calendar. Um, I always do this on my little dry race board here for each month. Four, three, two, and um, I'm planning on making, I'll do this in a minute. I'm going to make a tote with uh, OU. And these are going to be the colors. This is going to be the liner. And this right here is going to be the uh, outside of the bag. I'm also uh, going to put a pocket inside with the OU print. And then also I have the Saints. This is basically the closest color I could get to this tan. That's in the Saints here. Color. Should pan this on there good. I'll take that off in a minute. But uh, this right here, I was also gonna make a tote out of this. And I'm also, uh, if I have any scraps left, I was gonna make uh, some wristlets and lanyards um, out of these also. And of course, I'm in Texas, and they love their cowboys. <laughs> So I bought more cowboy fabric. I'd have, I've used up uh, all, I think I might have a little sliver left, but cowboys is popular here. Um, also, I was thinking about the holidays. I want to make a um, Christmas themed reversible tote. So there's a local fabric shop over um, in Hearst, and I bought this right here. With this matching print I was gonna make a reversible tote with this right here that's gonna be cool and the reversible tote I wanted it to be similar to similar to this tote that I made see how it's veggies nice big one Then when I want to reverse it. Bumblebees. So something like this. And I'm also going to see if I can fit my sewing machine in there. Because I also signed up to take a beginner sewing class. But I wanted to also make a reversible tote out of these. I also got these from the local, um, not the local shop, but I got these from Hobby Lobby. Love this. It's 40% off week. These are a lot thinner, but I was going to get some stabilizer for that. And then this is outdoor fabric. I was going to make me 
just a giant oversized tote so I can put my sewing machine in it. This is outdoor fabric, good sturdy stuff. And I was gonna uh, add a pocket to it to put all my little bits and pieces because my class is on Monday from six to nine, twenty-five dollar class, which is cool. It was fifty dollars, but they don't want down. And it's um, let's see, on the seventh, right? Sewing basics, work on basic sewing and garment skills, seams, overcasting. I don't know what that is. Zippers, buttonholes. Not too sure what that is either. And more in the workshop class with Jenny. So I'm gonna go do that. I've heard um, sewers on YouTube mention buttonholes. I guess that's the kind of stitch, like different types of stitches, buttonhole stitches, I guess. I don't know. And overcasting, I don't know what that is. Only overcast I know of is the clouds. But um, I'm gonna go to that. And they have a bunch of other classes that I was looking into uh, that I was curious about. They have one called Decor Club where basically you take some whatever you done made and you know just go show it off. I'm like okay I got some cool stuff and some stuff I need to work on. And this right here, this is an advent calendar. Basically this is a project I'm going to do and I can't wait to try this. This requires uh, batting, you know, uh, put batting on this and also, uh, what's that, binding. So I have to bind and bat, so I have no idea how to bind. I seen a video, cause I kept seeing it for 99 cents at uh, Hobby Lobby, when the zippers and all that go on sale, different batting. And I was like, I want to get some. I think I might need it. It's on sale. Why not? But I haven't got it. But I'm going to add a couple of things to that uh, advent calendar. I'm going to add the, uh, go get some, the batting. And I'm also going to um, get some fabric because what's in the pack is what you need to make the calendar. But I saw one hanging up that they had completed. And they had got like a holiday print fabric. So you'll cut off like one through, I think 25. And basically you're gonna sew it onto the picture, I guess, but it's not a picture, it's fabric. Sew it on there. But I want it to be, have a backing so it's extra thick. It was really pretty. So I'll show y'all when I start doing it. But the first thing I'm going to do, if I can't, get this, well my sewing machine, embroidery machine and this, I'm going to make a big one. Mind you, I'm going to make a big one anyways, but I'm thinking I might make the big one today. I'm just to see if it can fit. And if it can't, I'm just going to make me a big heavy duty oversized uh, bag to carry my sewing machine and supplies. Because for the class, I'm going to need my machine and the accessories, some thread, a bobbin, you know, scissors, seam gauge washable marker and ripper bought that yesterday washable marker finally and one fat quarter and a measuring tape I have all that and also something else that's cool that I did just for the moment BAM this right here North Texas Quilt Festival in Irving Texas August 17th 18th and 19th I signed up to be a volunteer, so I will be working the event on that Friday uh, afternoon for like two to three hours. I just thought it would be cool to go see all the different uh, quilts and sewing and maybe uh, get some tips on how to sew better because my sewing is crooked and I'm not too sure on the difference between all these seam uh, lengths. It's weird to me. I figure put it on one and get her done. And it works for everything as long as it keeps the stitches, you know, <laughs> on the uh in, in the fabric together. It's, it's good, but they're like, no, there's different stitches depending on what you're doing and all the settings and all the different um fancy stitches and links and I don't get all that. So I'm gonna talk to a few of the uh quilters there. 
Most of them probably be in different uh, guilds. Oh, that's new guild. Bear Creek Guild, Fort Worth Modern Quilt Guild, Fort Worth Quilt Guild, Irving Quilt Guild. Oh, so if you're in a quilting club, it's called the Guild. Learn something new every day. Original Sewing and Quilt Expo. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, on the 18th. I will be volunteering there and hopefully I will learn something and make some connections with some people locally. Uh, mind you, I don't need any more hobbies. I got them, but I just want to get better at them. Jack of all trade, master of none. I don't have to master it, but I want to become way better at what I'm doing because all of my, uh, my scrunchies, that's really what irks me. I like making the scrunchies, but I hate the fact I was like, this isn't right. I know you're not supposed to be able to see it this good when you close it up. And then I'll be like, oh, I'm going to hide it. I can hide some stuff. <laughs> I can improvise it and I can hide when I mess something up. And I just hate the fact I cannot sew a label in for the life of me. That's right. It always messes up. I'm, I need some tips on how to do that better. Because I have all these labels and every single label I ever tried to sew my whole entire life came out completely wrong and I had to redo it like three or four times until I finally said forget it I'm, I'm done no labels wholesale mystery mystery creator because <laughs> I cannot put my labels in there straight for nothing but um, my next project it's August I wanted to do some that's what I'm gonna do I have my Christmas stuff I have my uh, you know NFL pattern stuff but I also have be right back I also have some fall themed uh, fabric I want to make a tote out of this this is fall themed I'm I was thinking about making a, uh, a tote or a purse with this and I was going to put jeans inside uh, I got some jean one second I was gonna put some jean fabric as the lining so this was gonna uh, I was gonna sew some stabilizer and then I was gonna put this or I might just make it like a you know slouch type reversible one I don't know yet but um, this right here is gonna be the lining and I was of course gonna put a pocket so I was gonna put a jean pocket on this side and then on the inside jean I was gonna put a pocket so when it's reversible but this is gonna be like my fall purse or fall tote bag or something but this is what I'm going to do next I have all the materials to make it so I'm gonna do fall next after I do my tote for my sewing machine and then I'm gonna work on the NFL and the holiday one so y'all I got plenty of projects to show y'all but since I am relatively uh, a new sewer I just start sewing scrunchies doing the best I could do back in December and I just got my sewing embroidery machine in like May I'm thinking um, I might just show you the steps that I'm doing versus up close and personal and cut this and sew that because it might not be the prettiest and all that but at the end of it it's going to be completed it's going to be nice so i'm going to um go to my class on monday and then i'm going to start my projects my my um uh, fall the denim and the patchwork denim tote bag or purse because I'm hoping I learned something. I'm going to be taking notes. But. Really that's all I got on that front. On the projects. Upcoming projects. Now. Also. What's going on with me. Um, I. Started. My weight loss journey. For the umpteenth time. But. I'm going to stick to it this time. I am, I am. Um, my birthday in February. And next year, 2024, I'm going to be vacationing and cruising 
road tripping all over the place. So my first trip leaves out on my birthday and I want to look good in a two-piece because I will be getting in the water, typically on cruises and vacations. This body don't touch no water that's not a shower. I'm just not the water type. But I'm like, you know what? I'm supposed to get in some water. So, got to get it tight and right. So, I started a couple of days ago. I'm not calling it keto. And I'm not calling it a diet. I just cut, basically cut back on the carbs. And so far, <laughs> I'm down like three pounds. Just laying out the carbs and drinking more water. I uh, cut way back on the diet sodas. I'm more towards the, uh, you know, just coffee with a stevia. And, um water and I'm gonna get back to my herbal teas. I used to daily some kind of herbal tea good for some part of the body at all times. I was sucking down herbal tea. I'm gonna get back to that, join the gym. Right now I'm working out like twice a week but I'm gonna bump that up to at least four times a week. And really that's about it. So seeing my videos over the next six months when you're like, oh my God, she got little. Oh my God, is she a size six? Yes, I'm, I'm trying to lose weight. So that is what I will be doing. Um, but right now, got to do some stuff around the warehouse. I'm going to sweep again. I haven't been here. Um, I might have been here to check in and air it out and, you know, drop off some stuff maybe two or three times in the last two or three weeks. It's hot here. It's been getting up to like 108, 106 and all that. There's no central air in here and these fans just circulate the air. So your girl don't want to have a heat stroke. So I just drop off stuff or come in the evening or in the morning. Right now it's early, probably about nine now. So I'm just to do some stuff before it gets too hot and then I'm out of here. But I wanted to update y'all. Um, I will have a video up next week. I'm thinking about changing my upload dates to Fridays. Not sure yet. Wednesdays or Fridays. I'm thinking about changing my upload dates. I want to start doing multiple videos a week, but right now I'm so hot, I'm not going to be up here that much. Unless I come early and can finish the project quick before it gets too hot. But that's all I got. If y'all have any comments or questions, drop them below. Please subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. I know. Shameless plug. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.